Hi, I'm Fruka and I am developing a game with my game engine. In this video, I'm going to share the brief development story of my game engine and how I started my first game project with the engine. Before the video, let me introduce myself. I live in Istanbul, Turkey. I had my computer engineering degree in 2020. Since then, I've mostly worked on my personal projects, which are mobile apps and they are whole another story. I was also employed once for one and a half years. While working as a computer engineer, I expressed my creative side through drawing sketches, creating illustrations, producing music and exploring how things works in general. Since the beginning of 2023, I've been working on my game engine and recently I started to work on my first game. So as I said, I am developing my game engine. So why am I not using an engine that already exists and is capable of my needs? Before developing mine, sure, I tried other game engines. Picking up an existing engine and developing a game wasn't the right project for me to get motivated enough. I found out that developing a game isn't the only thing I was interested in. Because when working with a game engine, there's too much stuff buried under the high level tools that keeps me out of focus. So my main goal was not only developing a game, but rather learning how games actually work and deeply how computer graphics works. You know, I'm just another curious human being. In addition, I'm not likely to build my know-how around commercial products because it will possibly cause a lot of pain in the future. I'm not saying that this reason alone justifies the decision, it's little instinctive too. Also, I'm not totally against using another engine in the future. I'm developing my game engine agnostic, so it's just a C++ project in the end. My game engine project started as a simple learning project with C++, OpenGL, Bullet Physics, etc. After months of development of the engine, at some point, the project reached to a state that it can be used for an actual game. So the game is a part of the engine project. I knew my game engine needed a showcase and I started to think about which type of game I could make. So the outline requirements for this project was, first one, AAA look and feel. Of course, I'm not aiming for the content-rich aspect of a AAA game, rather just look and feel. After implementing physical-based rendering, bloom and screen space ambient occlusion, renders started to look like very satisfying for me, and I just thought, why not compete with good visuals? Second requirement, complete in 2-3 months. I didn't plan to take a really long path like a year without releasing a single title. I will be more likely to update the game after being released. So at max, 3 months is the timeline I planned for the initial release. But it's already 1 month and you know it's hard to predict a project's timeline. In short, I just wanted to showcase the best content I could make in a minimum time frame. So where does the game idea come from? While developing the engine, I had a demo scene which contains examples for each feature of the engine. For example, I had my terrain, the instance grass on the terrain, a character with multiple animations, a car with exhaust particles, car doors, etc. Back to the characters, I had a lot of time with animation and ragdoll development. I was working with animations from Mixamo and I just simply edited and merged them in Blender to use in my engine. I also did some animation with Cascadeur. By the way, I am strongly recommending this app. I was using the Bullet Physics engine to develop the ragdoll stuff. In this process, I suffered a lot and learned a lot too. While improving the animation setup, I was really exhausted with synchronizing the character animations and it really is not my type to be faking something. You know, in games you have animation clips for each action and you need to blend multiple clips to match the actual character movement. It's always not a big deal with games that don't try to be realistic and unfortunately that's not my case. I simply wanted a better solution, it didn't feel right. Foot placement is the actual problem I was dealing with. There are known solutions for this problem, but I wasn't satisfied with this workflow, so I said, what else can I do? I just did some research and I found out the industry is using machine learning approaches to reach realistic movements, but I did not jump directly into this solution. I thought, why don't I generate the footstep paths procedurally in real time? Maybe I could use this path as a base of my character animation workflow. So I started to build a system on the paper to see if it works. And after some thinking, walking and writing, it started to look like something. After completing the design on paper, I coded the example and boom, it works and it looks fantastic. 
And the best part, it naturally solves the famous foot placement problem when the character walks on steps and slopes. The result gave me the motivation to continue to develop. I called this module the stepper. While improving the stepper, I had an idea that why don't I use this for a football game? Because the stepper really looks like a footballer while operating and precise foot placement is really important for a football game. Prior to this moment, I was considering a developing a football game because I play, I like and I know football very well. Then I just built my demo football arena with Blender and started to implement the Dribbler, which is another module on top of the stepper. The Dribbler is simply responsible for dribbling the ball through the movement direction. It overrides the stepper steps to match the push movement of a foot that is applied to the ball. Then finally, at some point, I decided this is going to be my first game. It meets all the requirements and I could see myself motivated through the development in the long term. This was a relief, because for the last two months I was a little lost while finding a game to develop. I was a little scared if I couldn't find any. In general, I am an optimistic person, but sometimes you can't help but think the worst. So after deciding, I just continued to implement features in the game. I added passing, ball trajectory and shooting mechanics to the dribbler and over time it gradually looks like there's an actual footballer. Seeing this progress really made me proud of my work. While I have the motivation and it looks like a small project, still there's a lot of stuff to do. Again, it's hard to predict the timeline. I can list some of the next features I plan to implement. Some of them are thoughts rather than actual plans. Goalkeeper mechanics. Rendering the character mesh with variable body portions, real-time team management with actual 11 vs 11 football match, physical interaction with ragdolls, net physics with verlet integration, plus cloth physics, grass field and stadium. I want to share a demo game as soon as possible because I don't want to live in a delusional state where I don't get any idea how the game actually performs. I can't really say when this is gonna happen, but it's likely not too far away. The minimum gameplay requirements possibly, a footballer and a goalkeeper. Since I'm almost done with the footballer, the only thing left is the goalkeeper. After releasing the demo, while I'm going to improve the gameplay with feedback, I'll work on other stuff like gameplay modes, UI design, audio design, fine tuning all the atmosphere. What game modes will it contain, it's unknown too. For now, I concentrated on the game mechanics. I believe with strong mechanics, the rest is going to be more reachable. I planned to make the game meet the minimum requirements for a football game like career of a manager and footballer. And obviously, the feedback from the actual players is going to be a big part of the development roadmap. This video series is my search for inspiration and motivation. Since I am alone in development, it will help me when there is someone who cares about what I do. So in conclusion, I had my game in development and soon I will release a demo for getting early gameplay feedback. I would be super happy if you want to be a part of my journey. See you next time.